well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's Brood. many of you know, a wedding can be a most disconcerting influence in any household. Uh, let's see what it's doing to the blooms. Here's Papa just answering the phone. Hello? Yeah? She ain't here. I couldn't tell you. I told you she ain't here. I don't know. I told you I don't know what time she'll be home. Goodbye. All right, all right, all right. Package, June and company. Put it down. No, 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 not on the chair, on the table. Shut the door when you go out. It's CRD. CRD? How much? Sixteen and a half. And what's in it? I don't know. Well, who ordered it? A uh, party by the name of Bloom. Oh. Well, don't you know what's in it? No. Well, can I open it and see what it is? Uh, we're not supposed to let you. Ah, but maybe it's the wrong thing. Well, if you don't know what's ordered, how can you tell if it's wrong or not? Ah. You're too smart, young fella. I'm going to open it. Before I pay sixteen dollars and a half, I'm going to open it and take one peek. Well, go ahead and open it. Yeah. Huh. Even now, I don't know what it is. It's a lady's teddy. A lady's what? A piece of underwear. Dames wear it. So thin. Ah, oh, that ain't thin. You ought to see some thin ones. Well, uh, never mind. Never mind. Here, here, here's your money. Uh, thanks, Bud. Uh, bud. Uh, bud. <laughs> Hello. Hello? No, no, she ain't here. No, Sally ain't here either. No, yet they ain't here. Nobody's here. Even I ain't here. Goodbye. Hello? Wait a minute. I, I gotta go to the door. Yet, the, what's the matter with your key? I forgot to take it with me. I'll get it now. Well, what do you need it now for? You're in the house now. Well, I'm going right out again. You're gonna stay here and answer these bells before I go, Mashiga. Wait a minute. Hello? 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 They hung up. You see, well, why didn't you answer that phone? Well, I didn't know it had rung. What do you think the receiver was doing off the hook? All right, now, don't get excited. I'll stay here. Uh, why doesn't your mother stay at home? Well, she had to go out and attend to some things. Yeah, well, I've got to go down to the office. It's 10 o'clock. I thought you weren't going to the office today. Don't start anything. Tomorrow, for the wedding, I'm staying home. Today, I'm going downtown. Oh, why don't you stay home and help? Why doesn't Sydney stay home and help? Sydney's getting married, not me. Oh, Sydney's different. He's got to go to the office. They couldn't get along without him. Oh, is that so? Is that so? <laughs> and what do you think we're doing when he's away? Close up, huh? Oh, so it came. Yeah, yeah, it came. Sixteen dollars and a half. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Sixteen dollars and a half. And I'll bet you they made a net profit of fifteen dollars at least. A couple of inches of silk, maybe a yard and a half of ribbon for sixteen dollars and a half. <laughs> That's the business to be in. Gee, I can't wait till I put it on. No, 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 no. Don't try on your sister's things. That's not for Sally. What? Not for Sally? No, that's for me. For you? Uh-huh. Sure, you don't think that Sally'd wear a cheap little thing like this to get married in. Mm -hmm. It's going right back. Oh, Pa, don't think I'm going to the wedding dress like a rag picker. Uh -huh. Between $16 and a half, uh, whatever you call it, and rag pickers is still a long-distance call. Wouldn't a $5 whatever it is do you? You're wearing a dress, too, I hope, ain't it? Certainly. Don't be silly. Well, couldn't you cover up a $5 one as well as a $16 one? Well, I wouldn't feel the same. Yeah, but I would feel better. It goes back. Oh, please don't send it back, Pa. Please don't send it back. Hello, Drake. Does anybody call? <laughs> 
Did anybody call? Everybody called. What did you tell them? I told them you were out. What do you think? Did you tell them Ben I'd be back? I didn't know myself when you'd be back. How could I tell them? I told you I'd be back at 10 o'clock on the dock. Yeah, well, what time is it now? It's quarter of 12. Uh -huh. uh, well, listen, Jake. My daughter's getting married tomorrow, and you expect me to push a clock like a, like a night watchmaker. Night watchman, mother. Mama, look at this piece of union suit. It goes back. Positively. Sixteen dollars and a half. I think it's beautiful. Sixteen dollars and a half. It's terrible. You see, you see, you see. I told you, yet. Take <laughs> it back, Yetta. Oh, Ma, please, let's keep Yetta, it. Yetta, take it back. Papa's right. It's ugly. Oh, but I Do think... as I tell you, Yetta. Don't argue with me. I'm nervous-like. Take it straight back. Go across the street to that little specialist shop. Specialty shop. Underwear store. And get that little blue one with the pieces of lace down the front. Jake, give her a check for twenty-seven dollars and a half. And uh, uh, how much? Twenty-seven dollars with fifty cents. I told you, Yetta. A time like this is no time to be economical. Get the best. Uh, does the best cost twenty-seven dollars and a half? No, Jake, but it'll do. Mm -hmm. If she is wearing a twenty-seven dollar and a half, uh, what do you call it, Mama? Do me one favor. What favor? Don't tell me what you paid for Sally. All the time you're complaining. Hello? Just a minute. Ma, it's for you. All right. Hello. Yes. Yes, all right. Make it pineapple. All right. Goodbye. Who is that? That's the man about the ice cream, the caretaker. Caterer, Ma. Mama, did you tell him to be sure and serve it in solid gold cups with diamond spoons? If we're going to have $27 and a half union suits, which you don't even see, we can't have the ice cream served in cheap solid silver. Uh-huh, uh, I forgot. Yet to hurry and change the step out. Step in, Ma. Step in, step out. What's the difference? If you step in to get it on, you step out to get it off. Uh, Mom, I took another look at this thing again, and uh, come to think of it, <laughs> it's not so ugly. As long as you've got it, uh, keep it. Let me see it. Yes, sir. Answer the door. Papa, answer up the telephone. You answer the phone. I want to put away this, this beautiful step off. You're going to send it back to No, 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 no. We're keeping it. It's a bargain. <laughs> Only $16 and a half. <laughs> cheap, Hello? cheap, cheap. Mrs. Rosine. <laughs> Hiya. You didn't? Oh, you must. I'll sue the mailman. How can a thing like that be? I'll call the post office and have them look it up. We'll have an investment. You mean an investigation? Yes, I answered it all, will you? Okay. Mrs. Rosine, I should never move from this spot if I didn't send you an invitation. I'll send another one right away. You live in the same building with Mrs. Lipsky, ain't it? All right, go over and read hers. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Ma. I need a check for twenty-two and a half. Papa, give her a check for twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> the what? Well, what for? Yetta, what's it for? Shoes. Who needs eight pairs of shoes? It's one pair. One pair of shoes. Twenty-two dollars. Everybody is going crazy. Write the check, huh? All right. Your all daughter right. should get married in cheap shoes, huh? Say, if I can pay sixteen dollars for mine shoes for the wedding and eighteen fifty for Yetta's, shouldn't the bride have better? What are you, Jake? A poker? A piker? Here you are. I mean a cheap skater, a mouser. Where is my From her, Mama, I don't have to take names. She's not calling you names. She's just telling you what I mean. I know what you mean, even if you don't say it right. Uh-huh. That reminds me. Um, uh, Jake, did you mail the invitations, the last bunch? Hmm? <laughs> of course I mailed them. Of course. I remember I put the stamps on them and I mailed them. Are you sure, Jake? Sure. Sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, as long as you're so sure, we'll look in your coat. I'll look. Which have a coat did you wear, Jake, when you took the invitations? Do you remember? Of course I remember, of course. <laughs> it was the big one. The big one. You have to look in the little one. Well, well, why do you look? Mama, I tell you I mailed them. Well, here's both overcoats. Give me the little one. Well, I'll look in the big one. Well, here they are. Oh. Well, at least I'm right in one thing. I told you I wore the big one, Mama. Mm -hmm. You told me you mailed the invitations, too. <laughs> I knew we were short present. But I distinctly remember mailing them. Yeah, Jake, and they jumped back out of the mailbox into your hovercut pocket. I tell you, they're certainly smart invitations. Yeah, uh, but I remember mailing yeah, them. Yeah, you mama. remember. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Oh, Mrs. Glasser. <laughs> I suppose I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? But you didn't. Mrs. Glasser, I wouldn't lie to you. Just this minute I found out that my daughter Yetta forgot to mail 14 invitations. And in the 14 was your sister. Look, I'm holding it here right in my hand, see it? Mr. and Mrs. Malcolm Rabinowitz and family. 1963 West 138th Street. Yeah, I can't tell you how I'm so sorry. I'm sending it out right now, special deliverance, yeah. Goodbye, I'll see you tomorrow with your sister. <laughs>
Well, what did you blame me for? I didn't have anything to do with it. Can I tell them my husband is half this old? You mean half-witted. I mean dumb. Ten thousand things I've got on my mind, and I should be bothered because Mrs. Glass's sister didn't get an invitation. Let them come anyhow. They can come to this country without an invitation. Don't waste time. Go out and mail the invitations now. Carry them in your hand. What else did you forget? Uh, nothing. Did you have a fitting on your suit? Uh-huh. Twice. Did you have it, or do you remember having it? I had it, and I remember having it, and I had it. Both times? Both times. You can call up the tailor and ask him. Did it fit you? <laughs> With a suit like that, how can you tell whether it fits or not? Yeah, but couldn't he wear his tuxedo? Tuxedo? Yeah, it's got shiny lapels, too. No, positively no, Pa. Did you get a white vest? I got a white vest. It's a fine vest, yes. I've had it for 20 years. Oh, you mean that old thing with the black dots in it. Now, that isn't white. Well, it's mostly white. Just a few little black spots. Yeah, and it's the wrong shape. It's the same shape as I am. Am I the wrong shape? Well, I mean it has to be cut lower in front. Yes, yeah, so you'll go half, then you'll pick out for Papa a vest. Yeah, and in a white tie he needs two, and black silk socks. Jack, give her the numbers. What numbers? The numbers of the shorts and socks and that. Well, the short number is 16, but uh, maybe you'd better get a 17. 17, you can't wear it. It's too big. What are you expecting, our goiter? I'll get a 16. But 16 pinches me. Get him 16 and a half. We don't want him to stringle. Well, what size sock? I don't remember. Well, what size shoe do you wear? Maybe the clerk can tell from that. Well, the shoe is 11, but the line for my bunion... Jake, you brought check. Oh, my arm is broken from writing checks. And I'll get him a collar. What size there? Ah, uh, that I know, 44. Well, how much do you want? Becky, why don't you go with her? You could do it cheaper. Why don't you go yourself? Anyhow, you gotta mail the invitation. Oh, he'll get all the wrong things. Then you go with him. All right, all right, I'll go. Go with him to the tailor shop, see that the suit is all right. And Jake... Before you go, leave me checks. Checks? Sure, about six checks. You sign them and I'll fill them. You'll fill them? Yeah, Jake. Since we started the perspirations for this wedding... Preparations, Ma. That's one time I used the right word. For two weeks I've been perspiring. I get it. But I was trying to say to you, Papa Vaz, since we started getting ready for the wedding, everything we did you don't like. Yeah. But of all the things I did, signing blank checks for you to fill in, Mama, <laughs> that I like least of all.